Cloud Functions is Google Cloud's event-driven serverless compute platform. Run your code locally or in the cloud without having to provision servers. Today we will understand how to cloud function pricing is working. Cloud functions are priced according to how long your function runs, how many times it's invoked and how many resources you provision for the function. If your function makes an outbound network request, there are also additional data transfer fees. Cloud functions includes a perpetual free tier to allow you to experiment with the platform at no charge. Note that even for free tier usage, we require a valid billing account. Compute time is measured from the time your function receives a request to the time it completes, either through you signaling completion, or through a timeout, other failure or any other termination. Compute time is measured in 100 ms increments, rounded up to the nearest increment. For example, a function executing for 260 ms would be billed as 300 ms. Cloud functions can be provisioned as one of five types. 128 megabytes and 200 megahertz. 256 megabytes and 400 megahertz. 512 megabytes and 800 megahertz. 1024 megabytes and 1.4 gigahertz. 2048 megabytes and 2.4 gigahertz. Pricing will be calculate price per 100 millisecond. Cloud Functions provides a perpetual free tier for compute time resources, which includes an allocation of both GB seconds and GHZ seconds. In addition to the 2 million invocations, the free tier provides 400,000 GB seconds, 200,000 GHz seconds of compute time, and 5 GB of internet egress traffic per month. The free tier is measured as a dollar equivalent to the tier 1 pricing listed in the table above. The equivalent dollar amount is allocated to you whether you run your functions in a region with Tier 1 pricing, Tier 2 pricing, or both. However, the deduction of usage of the free tier is based on whether the region in which the function is running is in Tier 1 or Tier 2. In other words, if a function is running in a region with Tier 1 pricing, the deduction is based on Tier 1 pricing. Likewise, if a function is running in a region with Tier 2 pricing, the deduction is based on Tier 2 pricing. Outbound data transfer, that is, data transferred from your function out to somewhere else, is measured in GB and charged at a flat rate. Outbound data to other Google APIs in the same region is free, as is inbound data. Where the Google API you are using is global, that is not region specific, it is considered to be the same region. A simple background function with 128 megabytes of memory and a 200 megahertz CPU, invoked 10 million times per month and running for 300 ms each time using only Google APIs, no billable egress. Invocations. Compute time. Networking. A medium complexity HTTP function with 256 megabytes of memory and a 400 megahertz CPU, invoked 50 million times per month via HTTP, running for 500 ms each time and sending 5 kilobytes of data back to the caller, 5 kilobytes egress per invocation. Invocations Compute time Networking Thanks for watching like and subscribe.